Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel, Ask Jimmy Smith. Today is going to be a quicker video for you that actually comes from one of the comment sections of another YouTube video that I did regarding Keepa. And so in this video, I'm going to discuss what Keepa settings should you have turned on. So if you are brand new to Keepa and you have no idea what the little right side of that uh, Keepa graph means or what those uh, individual items, the legend essentially means, uh, I'm going to go through those different options. I'm also going to discuss what I believe you should have turned on for the best analysis that you can do from a Keepa perspective. And I'm also going to share with you uh, a free Keepa training guide that you can get uh, here at the end of the video. But let's go ahead and get into this. I'm actually going to show you my Keepa training guide because I actually go through as you can see, it's a 16 page document. And I go through a lot of different examples. I go through how to have your Keepa charts set up, et cetera. Um, and so I wanted to go through these specific factors that you can look at to evaluate Keepa. This is the things that you're going to be looking at to evaluate Keepa. But this is specifically what the question was that I got asked on my other YouTube video. What do these things mean? And so I'm going to go through as best that I know what they mean. Also, which ones that I think that you should have turned on. Now, first and foremost, if we zoom Zoom in here. Uh, if it'll let me zoom in, let's see uh, up here. I'm going to click that. Let's zoom in. So here we've got this new option. And so new is the purple line. That is typically going to be the new price that is usually the lowest price. It includes FBM or fulfilled by merchant listings. It also includes FBA if they're the same price. But usually you're going to see this new option as a lower price than the other options like buy box or FBA. The next one is sales rank. This is the green one that you see going up and down. I've done plenty of videos on how to read Keepa charts. If you want to check out my Keepa uh, playlist on this channel, you can do that to get some of the basics on how to read it. The next one is list price. You can see I have it turned off currently, uh, but list price is in the back end of an Amazon listing. A lot of times there is a list price that may or may not be set up. So maybe it's set up as $29.99, but the buy box is at $24.99. And so Amazon is going to show that you're getting a $5 discount off the list price. I personally don't care what the list price is, so I leave that one off. The next one here is the new third-party FBM. If you want to see where the FBM sellers are specifically, you can do that. So if you're selling fulfilled by merchant instead of fulfilled by Amazon, then you can leave that on. I usually have that off as well. The next one here is new third-party FBA, which I, as you can see, I have it turned on. And so whenever these things are turned on, you'll see their colors pop up uh, right next to the words. But in this case, the third-party FBA is what the lowest FBA seller is selling that product at. And then we've got the buy box, which is the all important one. What is the price Amazon is showing uh, to their customers uh, whenever you go to the listing. And so this is the data that uh, Keepa is able to pull and scrape off of Amazon's website. And in this case, buy box, we leave turned on as well. Many times you'll see the FBA price and the buy box be equal as you can see in this example chart here. There's actually some more that I'll go through here in a second for this top chart uh, because Amazon can be a seller and all kinds of stuff, but I'm going to continue moving forward in this. You can see down here, I actually don't use this middle chart much. It's basically a recreation of this top sales rank line, but they usually show what categories and subcategories this particular product was in. Uh, and then down here, there is new offer count, which is the amount of sellers that are on the listing total. So FBM and FBA. So if there's one FBA seller, but 10 FBM, it's going to show 11, right? And so this is the a very important piece to evaluating Keepa charts to see what the offers are doing, to see if sellers are selling out of the product or coming off the listing or if they're coming onto the listing. And again, I go much deeper into how to evaluate these things in this free guide as well as in other videos. Rating is going to be the actual uh, rating or star rating that this product is getting. So maybe it was at a five and it slowly dropped down to a four or it was at a four and it's gone up to 4.5. Typically, I'll leave that off because I don't really care about the trend of the rating. Sometimes, though, I will turn this last one on, which is review count, because review count uh, shows how many reviews it's gotten. And so I like to see that it is continually growing instead of flat, right? Uh, you may actually see sometimes where it's at a high uh, amount of reviews and then it completely drops off. Usually that is a signal that it was split out from another listing or that Amazon saw those reviews and deemed those other ones to be fake reviews or uh, manipulated reviews in some case. But I do like to look at review count because you can a lot of times see uh, or, or glean that it is selling 
even better, right? Because the more sales, you're gonna get more reviews. And so I do like to leave that one on. Sometimes it's not showing right now. I use it in different cases. Down here, we've got the range, which is day, week, month, three months, year, and all. So this is the amount of data that you're gonna be seeing. It's a very easy one to go through. You can just click through them. Typically, I'll look at three months right away, but I always look at the year if that is available. And if I'm trying to evaluate seasonal products like Christmas products, Thanksgiving, et cetera, I will click onto all to see what they did in each individual season during the prior year. So that way I can see was the price higher and did it always drop? What did the sellers do during that season? It gives you a much better indication of the actual trends from every year that this product has been on there during the popular season. Now, if I scroll down a little bit, so bear with me, I wanted to go down here where I talk about Amazon on the listing. You can see there's more options in this particular graph. So if Amazon has ever sold on a listing, it will show Amazon as an option and it highlights it orange. Now you can turn that off if you wanted to. That's a very key piece of information though. Uh, and I have a video on this channel about how to evaluate or compete with Amazon and evaluate Keepa if Amazon is on a listing. You can see that there's a used option. So this product in particular has used. So if you were selling books for some reason, uh, then you can sometimes see what the used sellers are doing as well. Uh, additionally, we've gone through a lot of these, but there's also a warehouse deals. So Amazon sometimes will do a warehouse deal or maybe they have some additional inventory that they're trying to sell off. I always leave that off. And then used like new also kind of goes with that used price, but it is a used like new instead of the entirety uh, of the used options. And so since we don't sell anything used, I typically will remove that. For some reason, I have that on in this particular picture. You can see actually right here, uh, they've got a used price. So I would probably turn that off because I really don't care to see that information. And then down here, there's also a used offer count. It's not just the new offer count in this particular graph. There's also a used offer count that is the additional option. And so those are the, the different Keepa settings. Now, which ones should you have turned on? In my opinion, I would have Amazon turned on. I would have new. I would have sales rank, I would have a uh, new third party FBA. And if you want to see FBM, you can do that. And it should include shipping. Uh, and then buy box as well, I would have that turned on. And then I'm always going to have the new offer count turned on. And then sometimes I will use the review count. Those are the ones that I recommend. Hopefully you took good notes there. But I have kind of mentioned them uh, throughout the video. Also, like I said, this is a free keep a guide with 16 pages of information on what I recommend turning on and how it should look. Uh, and also, how do you evaluate these charts for the different variations that come up for Amazon being on a listing for just traditional keep a charts for things that are more seasonal, etc. So if you're interested in getting this guide, you can go to askjimmysmith.com forward slash keep a guide. It's completely free. Uh, you put in your email, it'll get sent to you. Uh, but this has been tremendously helpful for the thousand plus success stories that I've trained people uh, on Amazon. It's also been helpful for our own workers in our business that I've, I've used to train virtual assistants on and local employees on, et cetera. So this is a very key document if you're looking to source and utilize Keepa in your business. But uh, if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see. This was because another, uh, another subscriber watched my video and asked me to make this video. So if you put that in the comments, I may be able to make a video for you if I have the expertise on it or, or the time to, to do that for you. So uh, hopefully this helped you and blessed you. Uh, like the video, share, and subscribe to the channel. I thank you so much for being here. I hope this helped and blessed you and hope you have a great rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week.